Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're getting ready to play a classic game. Bet you won't be able to tell which one. I mean, that soundtrack, it could be anything. Yeah. I mean, they haven't been using this soundtrack for 20 years now. 30 it's got, years now. It's got four How warriors. It could be it could be Dragon Warriors. That's true. This could there's be Dragon orbs. Warrior. It could be it could be Marble Madness. Yeah. Yeah. All sorts of things. Yeah, no, we're 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 gonna play Final Fantasy because I mean we kind of have to. It's on there. It's yeah. here. We're here. I was kind of wondering if the the title screen was gonna pop up, but I don't think it does that. I mean, that's a lot of extra programming. Yeah. So let's see here. What do we want to make our party out of? Four white mages. No. No. <laughs> Nothing but black belts, and we can call it Team Dad. Oh, man, you just... Why? <laughs> I was assumed my dad knew karate? <laughs> so what do you feel like being there, Captain Moji? Uh, I was like Red Mages. Maybe, because sure. I'm indecisive, even on my best day. I don't know, maybe I'll learn some magic? Maybe hit things with a sword? I don't know. That's fair. They're good all-around uh, characters in this. Plus, I like Red Mage in, uh... Uh... What's it called? Nuclear Power. Nuclear Power, yeah. Fair enough. He saw outside the game. He saw the Matrix. He did. Yes, he I did. I mean, fat lot of good it did it most of the time, but you know, it was fun. Because there's no paladin. Yep. No, no paladin. He's our fight guy, so let's do the fight <laughs> He is guy our fight guy. guy. That also means we don't have to spend much on him. True. <laughs> True. After about level 10, we just stop giving him gear. Ugh, I didn't know that. Like, the first time Me I played neither. this game, no. I remember... It's a pretty miserable time if you start I, giving them gear. I wondered why he was so bad. Yeah. I was like, why? Why he's so bad? <laughs> his armor, not his armor's not good. And he doesn't get cool abilities, really. So oh, what does okay. he do? <laughs> so, fun part about this game, everybody starts naked. Naked with no skills. I figured that you kept all the equipment in your orb. Like a Pokeball. Yeah. We do get to uh, wash our face immediately in the fountain there, because, you know... Because we're dirty scrubs. We are dirty scrubs. <laughs> I mean, anyone who's watched me play a game knows I'm a dirty scrub. Okay, so let's see if we can go buy a sword or three. So we have money but no stuff. Yep. Yeah, let's buy a hammer... Give that to me. Buy a rapier. Give that to, to you. Me. Buy a nunchucks and give that to Isaac. Because he needs to gain some levels first. We'll grab a knife and give it to uh Cuckoo Bell there. Yeah. Then actually equip those, because holding the weapon and equipping the weapon are two separate things. Oh my god. Yeah. Now, if we ever play this, <sighs> ever this... ever play this to completion, I'm calling a mulligan and we're going to go with the Final Fantasy Origins on the PlayStation. Because <laughs> it... this is too authentic, this is too real for you right now? This is too real for me right now. Ah, oh, this game was designed to infuriate ten-year-old me. <laughs> gonna buy some wooden armor for you and Isaac. Wooden armor sounds terrible. Yeah, well, I'm better assuming, than not. I'm a, you know what I mean, though. Like just in terms of like comfort or the ability to move. Oh yeah. I'm assuming it must be like thatched or like maybe like. Oh, that Thick lacquered, laminates, sandal, lacquered, lacquered samurai, samurai armor. armor. That might not be too bad. <laughs> so what spells do we want to buy you? Uh, what do we got? 
Well, you're gonna buy a cure. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what ruse or uh, harm harm do. Yeah, me neither. This this town does not have the good magics. And you can use it twice a day. Oh, so we're playing like by D and D rules. Basically, yeah. Oh, burned through all my spells. See you tomorrow, guys. Sleep. Basically. No, well, wait, you have one more spell slot left. Yeah, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want I want to play that. Oh, I want to play a D and D mage that that has sleep and that has a flaw that like he has insomnia. Mm. So he keeps that one spell slot specifically <laughs> so he can sleep. So I, I do want to apologize right off the bat. Unlike the PlayStation version, you can't reorder the characters once you create them. Oh, really? So they're, they're in this order forever. Oh. And the way this game Did works... Did we do bad? You're going to get hit a lot. Oh, I'm, I'm party tank now because I'm up top. Uh, you're, in, you're, you're not going to get hit as often as me. Oh, you're at the top. I'm at the top. Oh. But you're, part, you're number two, so you're going to get hit that's, second most often. That's not too bad. Not absolutely terrible. Okay, I mean, I so. guess the black belt might have been a better choice. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, once we get some levels under us. So we gotta go rescue us a princess, because of course we do. I mean, this is that classic gaming. Yep. And then weird things will happen after we do that that will facilitate the rest of the adventure. But for now, I'm gonna go fight goblins for about half an hour One get us a few. million years. Fight goblins for an age... That's, Basically. That's that's the way that they talk in the old timey games. An age. Oh, the most the most fun part about this? They don't uh if a monster dies, they don't auto target somebody else. Oh yeah. So you can just blow your whole like yep. round on a guy. Like Buku that isn't Bell even missed because I killed the goblin first. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you don't hit them for enough, they get another round of attacks, which is still bad. Yeah. And they're gonna <sighs> hit, and they're usually gonna miss, but they'll hit for between one and all of the damage, depending on who they hit. <laughs> uh, oh man, there's so much about this game that just... I feel like this was a first... a first draft, if you will. Mm. I mean, it is called Final Fantasy, and... If the lore is to be believed, it was either going to make or break them. Like, this was like, well, I mean, our other games, like uh, King's Knight, haven't done terribly well. We're either going to make this game, and it's going to make all the money, and we're going to be okay. Or we're all going to go get other jobs, because our company folds. Yep. Hooray, monsters <laughs> perished. We got seven experience points. But no, I, I very much got the feeling that, like, they might have spent a few more cycles on development if they had it in the budget. Oh, yeah. No, this <laughs> Things like being able to change party order or uh, holding and equipping being different things. Somebody might have looked at that in a month and gone, Hey, guys, that's really obtuse. How are people going to figure this out? But, no. I mean, it was, pu it was Publisher know. Parish at that point, I think. Making the thief not useless. Is the thief no good? Not only is the thief not terribly good, he gets worse as a ninja. When you hit your class change up. Really? Uh, you do get uh, access to the haste spell, but that's that's it. Your stats Does are worse. Red mage get haste? Yeah. I was saying, I think Red Mage gets haste. Good I, job I... on that crit, by the way. You totally slaughtered that <sighs> goblin with 10 hit points. Because I, I really liked Red Mages. Oh yeah, no, they're... Especially in the older game, uh, they're generally better than the white and black mages, unless you want to get the high-level magics. Right. No, I, I usually played with a couple of Red Mages and a Warrior and... something. Yeah. The first time it was a Black Belt, and I... It was a painful journey. Okay, so we got 27 experience points we need to do to get the next level. We successfully got 13 so far. Wait, can you wash your face and heal? No, that's not what that does. Oh, what does it do? Does it, it just bring up a text, text box? Really? Yep. 
with with their game company crumbling around them, they had time to program that. Well, I guess this is the first town. They were probably doing a little better at that point. Yeah. The later towns probably don't have such uh, fanciful bits. Oh, oh man, let's get lit. Slip. Come on, we gotta get lit. I don't even know what it does. The pun rates itself! Well, I guess no, it wouldn't be a pun, it would just be a... It's a colorful turn of phrase, but... But now we can get lit. Now we can get... I don't even know what lit does. I think it might be the, the fla flasher blind. That would make sense. What's over here? Oh, the that's, clinic. Where you, that's where you that's bring where back you the resurrect dead people. people. Yeah. We're gonna see a lot of the clinic. Yeah, we will. Though not in this playthrough. Heal, pure, tent, okay. And... Activate time skip. got ourselves a level, we got ourselves some more equipment, we found out what lit is, so that's exciting. And we're gonna go take a run at Garland, the evil knight who kidnapped the you princess. Know, that that top area there with the mountains, I'm almost certain that's in King's Knight. I think they reused some backgrounds. You think so? I do. You think we can tunnel through it by attacking? Oh, that would be awesome, but probably not. Like, probably there's, not. There's no way to attack on the overman, but... I mean, if this game was as hard up as it was, you know, for them as a developing studio, um, I mean, why not use some backgrounds over again? That's true. Uh, they're a time-intense resource that doesn't affect the mechanics of the game. Okay, so Garland's just literally straight up, but we're gonna go fight some bad guys and collect some treasure first. Is he really just at the end of the hall? Yeah. What? Temples aren't set out like mazes. That would be silly. I suppose that's true, except for all the times that in video games they're set up like mazes. That's true. Also, I'm surprised that anything in Final Fantasy is straightforward. Well, I mean, 13 was, by reportedly, a corridor for the first 20 hours of the game. Well, it's because you're on a train. It's literally on rails. Yeah, well. But, uh... I know, that trick's been used way too many times by way too many video game reviewers, but it's true, it's on a train. By the way, I don't think it's bad that it's on a train. I think trains are cool. I've never played, I can't speak to quality, but hey, we found a cap in the treasure box. Well, I mean, as the only person wearing a hat, clearly. Oh, you want the hat? I mean, it's sort of my brand. Okay, that's fair. Now, did everybody catch what we had to do? We had to go to trade, 
so that one character would give it to another character. Who had it? Me, because I'm in front. All once, items... all, once all my spots fill up, they'll start going to you. All items by default go to party leader. Yep. That's interesting. Probably just easier to program that way, I bet. Probably. Alright, we're fighting the creeps. The creeps hit for a ton. That's good to know. They're real weird looking. Yeah, they are. Hey, you can't miss those you can't miss those shots. I just... Bad for you. Oh, I'm, I'm really Finn trying died. to parse the visual language of what that is. I mean, there's a mouth and some fiddly bits, and it's also like a beanbag chair or maybe a sofa. <laughs> I don't know, there's there's a lot going on. A lot of a lot of visual language to parse. That there is. How many influence do these guys have? Yikes. I was I was beginning to think that myself, because uh We might have to take a short break after we collect these items <laughs> and go back to town. You brought a tent. I did buy a tent. That's what tents do, right? I hope so. I think they're portable ends. I know they are in like I think literally every other game they're in, but this is the first one. Nothing is certain. They're still not dead. You should cast Lit. Uh, they, they must be running out of hit points now. And we can only cast Lit twice. And it's tied up with our healing. Oh. Oh, that's right. It's the same. We get like, two first level spells. It's a, yeah, it's the same spell level. But no. No, okay. we beat them. We're fine. We're doing okay. Everything is fine. Got a, got a big chunk of experience points. We might hit level 3 before we go fight Garland. Yeah, I mean, if we keep running into creeps. <laughs> I hope we don't run out of hit points first. That That is a, a legit concern. Well, at least well, it's only one creep. One will be easier. Cause I'm a creep. You're gonna get us, get us caught by YouTube. There's one line. We're probably I know. okay. I hope so. Please don't sue us, Radiohead. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, it won't be Radiohead. Radiohead doesn't care. The RIAA, though. Or the MCPA, <laughs> or whoever. They care. They care an awful lot. The business that owns the rights to that song I wasn't singing. Yep. Man. Go they make down. my They make my karaoke video game nights impossible. They really do. We're never going to be able to record a rock band. We can't record rock band or uh, Guitar Hero. Heck, even the DDR stuff's probably out. Depending Maybe. on Depending on how uh, intense those folks want to guard that one. We found a cabin in a box. And we found heal? The spell heal? I don't know. No. Oh. oh, oh, it's potion. Oh. Kind of potion. Speaking of spells, though. Oh, you have, you've got three first level spells. Because we leveled. Right. We're gonna heal Isaac up a bit so he can take another shot from a creep. I think... I'm amazed that it decided to eat him. I mean. Yeah. Well, they don't have a great accuracy rate, but they hit like a dump truck when they do. You know what I mean? They usually are gonna wail on you or me. True. Skeleton Knights. Yeah, Skeletons. Oh, they hurt too. Well, yeah, they're using Bone Clubs. That's true. Is ground good against fighting? Uh... I have no idea. It's been way too long since I've played Pokemon. Flying is good against fighting. Well, these definitely aren't them. I'm assuming all of us are part fighting. I mean, at least the black belt is, for sure. Yeah. And the uh, fighter, because obviously. I might be... Psychic? A lot of magic-y things get put under that umbrella of psychic. That's true. Uh, but you, you have to be, like, fighting psychic. Sure. I mean, that's... There's Pokemon in the game that have that type pairing. So wolves, wolves aren't a big deal, unless you miss like I did. Once you get better armor, you're probably steel type in fighting. Oh, absolutely. Might be steel type now. I take an order of magnitude less damage than everybody else. Uh, 
You're like wearing wooden armor though. Oh no, I got chainmail. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, sure. Steel type. In fact, one of the one of the big money sinks in this game, if you're running more than one fighter, is that armor is expensive. And it should be. Sure, I mean a full suit of plate mail is a pretty spendy endeavor. Plus, it means although, physical damage is typically just one, no matter who's hitting me. Although, I think that's a funny point for them to stick to realism in the world of goblins and magics. And... Yeah, well. You know how it is. It was made in Japan, where steel armor was a rarity. Oh, that's true. I guess that makes the wooden armor make more sense, too. Mm. It is probably the, the laminate, uh, like, samurai armor. Hey, good job, Bell. Take yeah, out that take wolf. him down. They really like chewing on Isaac. They do. Right, good experience points for five wolves. I remember you were saying that uh, wolves are giant XP pinatas. Oh! You can put people in the front or back row. Oh, that's how you change order. Okay. I, I guess you can change order. That's a select button, by the way. That's what the select button does? Yep. I know I've said it already, but this game is very obtuse. But hey, now we know. I feel like they would have workshopped things a bit more had they had time. Okay, so we got two doors locked by the mystic key. We're gonna fight our way outside and go take a nap. And then we're gonna go fight Garland. Well, first we're gonna fight the spider. My first guess wouldn't have been spider. <laughs> right? I was thinking, like, I could see, like, a, a cloak? Yeah. yeah. Oh, or maybe a big ball of yarn? Flying spaghetti <laughs> monster. I get it. 8 bit art's hard. And there's like space constraints on your cartridges and stuff. But it didn't look spidery. Not not terribly, no. And up the stairs. Because Garland's hanging out in his basement. Alright. We're healed up because of that lucky cabin. One oh, healing the, potion, the three spells for all the marbles. All right. I want your princess. That ain't your princess. Well, I mean, he's evil. He clearly doesn't respect property rights or that's fair. You know, autonomy. Bring it, personal, Garland. Personal agency. So, Cabin didn't give you your spells back. So we're gonna use our last lit spell. We're gonna get lit. And Buku Bell's doing one damage. I've made a terrible mistake. I mean, maybe he'll miss. Lightning! Eat it! We're, we're supposed to win this fight. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe in a level or two. We're just... We're just See, going but this through. isn't this isn't one of those unwinnable battles, no. Well, I can fight. Yep. Now we just fight. I have a sword. We find out who runs out of hit points first. One will stand. One will fall. This is one of them endurance fights. Patricia, you're just, you're just hoping for the high though. rolls. There's four of us. Uh, you can probably take another hit before you fall down. We do have a single healing potion. We he could is, probably take this guy. He is spreading out his damage. He is. That helps. Yeah, I was going to say... Uh, really, I think it comes down to whether or not you last, because you do the most damage per, uh, per pop. Ah, eat it! Nice. Bonk you right on the noggin. See, level two was, was fine. Level two was fine. Although that'll probably get you level three. I hope so. Nope. No level three. I am honestly surprised. Hey, look, the bat. Get out of here. I like that the bats aren't actually, like, bad guys. They're just bats. Yep. Just ambient bats. Just walking around, going kiki. 
this loot has passed down from queen to princess for 2,000 years. Garland stole it when he kidnapped me. Please accept it as a gift. It just might come in handy. Neat. I got a musical instrument. Oh man, that means that our uh, thief can become a bard now. Yeah, there you go. Thank you for saving the princess. To aid your quest, I ordered a bridge built to the continent. You didn't already have one of those? Trade must not be a thing. Go now and make the orbs shine again. I like. That I think was... they might be orbs instead of crystals. I like the fact that they built a bridge instead of a boat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, or making things float have is a hard. Boat. True. True. That's just very strange kingdom. Mm. I mean, you get a boat later. Not from these guys. Yeah. Apparently, boat making technology is beyond them. Hey, boats are hard. Alright, let's check out this cool bridge. I mean, they built it for us, we might as well. It was built in our honor. <laughs> yeah. Imps. Really? Like every game with random encounters, I feel like there's a point where they should stop fighting you because they know it's pointless. They just give you their experience points and money. <clears throat> like, it, come up, it could come up with a dialogue box and you can, you know, like, spare or kill. If you spare him, you get gold, and if you kill him, you get experience. Yeah. Yeah. But alas, it will be decades before Undertale comes out, so, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm clearly, clearly talking about, you know, the future times. Apparently. That was, that was too bold an idea for, uh, when did this game come out? I don't know, 1988, 9... Yeah. <laughs> that feels like one of those stats we should look up before we start recording. You know, I mean, I played it in the early 90s. And That's fair. I never really thought about it. But yeah, no, it... Like I played this it is on an the old PlayStation. Game. One of my friends had it. He was... He was more into the JRPGs and stuff than hey, I was. Hey, we leveled up! Hooray! Didn't level up fight at Garland, but those imps! Yeah! That was a true test of your mettle, and now you have... You have learned what it means to be heroes. I think you got, like, two maximum experience... Uh, two maximum hit points that level. Stats vary wildly in this game, by the way. Because I got 20, and Isaac got 6, Wow. And Captain Emoji got 2. Well, I mean, clearly uh, we need to do more uh, EV training. No kidding. Buku Bell got 24? <laughs> and now has the second most hit points. Nice. Thief. <laughs> Thief is strong. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out this bridge. Ooh, bridge! And so their journey begins. There's our title screen. 1987 Square, copyrighted 1990 by Nintendo. We made it to the game, guys! Yeah! Whoa. After tutorial title screen. Anyway. Yeah, it's orbs instead of crystals in the US dub. That's Very neat. strange. Well, that'll be it for this episode of Endless Mode. Let us know which Final Fantasy is your favorite, or which, you know, forgotten gem of the Nintendo you think we should play. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs>